In today's video, we talk about losing weight with apple cider vinegar. What's going on? This is Paul Ravella, ProPhysique.com. It is Saturday afternoon. Didn't get to do a video Friday, and I apologize for that, but, uh, you know, got a good topic for today. It involves this thing right here, this apple cider vinegar. Found this in my pantry, and uh, I've been getting a lot of questions, seeing a lot of stuff online. And uh, yesterday, when I was at the gym, had a little chat with my friend Lane Norton about apple cider vinegar because it's one of those mythical things that we hear about every so often and uh, wanted to know if there was any scientific evidence backing up you know what I see a lot of people talking about like I mean if you just type in apple cider vinegar weight loss on Google or YouTube you get a bunch of results so what is the actual science behind it and you know what, I'm always looking for possible evidence-based approaches to help things out. And would there be anything to this having apple cider vinegar once a day before your meals? And I gotta be honest and say, based on everything that I've seen, it's complete bull crap. I found more evidence that it could actually be harmful because of the acidic nature. People overdoing it were actually getting holes in their esophagus, stuff like that. Um, even the stuff that claims that it's good for uh, the glycemic index didn't, didn't actually back up when researched. And so things on PubMed, lots of articles just talking about the myth that is apple cider vinegar. So instead of bashing apple cider vinegar, which if you are a zealot or someone who has come to this video because you saw the title and you want to argue with me, that's fine. I'm, I'm not opposed to that. You're, you're more than welcome to your opinion. But I want to talk about why, if there is no evidence-based, research-based, or any real reason why apple cider vinegar should be touted as a fat loss aid, why is it exactly? And so I wanna discuss that. And here's the reason, based on what I saw. So the ingredients that make up apple cider vinegar, they're all some very good things. They're things that we need in our diet to lose fat. But the real issue is they're in such small amounts that they don't actually have an impact. So you have to supplement with something else or eat whole foods because again, the ingredients that you, you would get in the apple cider vinegar are actually in such tiny amounts that they're not gonna have any impact or make the changes that, that, you, that you would be after. So why does it have so many positive results? And it's called the placebo effect in my opinion. When you believe something's going to work, it will. Now for all those claiming, well, I added apple cider vinegar to my diet and it changed everything. I lost 11 pounds in two weeks. You know, without being there personally, I would have to say, well, what else did you change? Sometimes something as simple as an, an additive will give people confidence that, okay, now things are gonna work. So they'll stick to their diet better. They'll actually go do their training and cardio. And so they'll use this as the magic bullet that got them the results when it was actually just putting in the work day in and day out. Now I've worked with, I don't know, over the last five years, maybe a thousand clients, and I've never once had somebody use apple cider vinegar. I've never even thought about it. It just seems like it's a trend. And when I brought it up to Lane yesterday, you know, he's been around the nutrition industry a lot longer than me. and. Um, you know, has a lot more education than myself. And he just said it's one of those things that pops up every five to seven years as like the next great miracle or the next great thing. And it goes back to a video I did a couple weeks ago on that simple fat loss trick. 
And um, it's, it's again where people are looking for that one change that they need to make to their, to their life, to their day-to-day -day routine that's going to get them a result when there is no one single change that you can make. Changing your body composition, your life, is not about a single change. It's about a campaign. It's about adjusting your lifestyle. So, yes, it's easy to look at, oh, well, it's just if I remove carbs. Oh, it's just if I lower my fats. Oh, it's just if I do my cardio fasted. Oh, it's just if I add apple cider vinegar. And no, it's none of those things are true. Weight loss, fat loss, body composition changes, muscle building, all these things take time and they take dedication and adjusting what you're doing currently. So I just wanted to address my thoughts on the apple cider vinegar trend that, that is currently going around. And um, you know, for those that would say, hey Paul, I'm using apple cider vinegar and it really helps, I would say great. I'm happy that you're getting results, but it's not because of the apple cider vinegar, okay? It's not changing anything um, unless you're adjusting things around it or it's giving you confidence to move forward. So it's very sensationalized and I think one of my biggest pet peeves with anything related to the fitness world or weight loss world, you know, especially as you walk through the magazine aisle at the grocery store and see lose 21 pounds in seven days or you know these types of things is that's really ultimately what it comes down to the problem is the problem is misinformation we're looking for shortcuts to lose weight and when you look for a shortcut to lose weight you're going to have a shortcut to getting fatter than you were before you lost the weight when you look for a shortcut to lose weight you're avoiding doing the actual work necessary okay and when you put the actual work in that's necessary, you get the results, okay? You get the results that you're after instead of, okay, well, the grapefruit diet didn't work. Let's try the Atkins diet. That didn't work. Or that worked for six months, but now I'm heavier than I was. So let's try the apple cider vinegar three times a day. That does, you know, that, you're always jumping from thing to thing instead of actually just stopping what you're doing and putting the damn work in. All right guys, that's gonna be it for me today. A short but sweet video, not a lot of depth in this topic. I couldn't find, and I looked, much positive evidence at all. So it's almost all myth. And if you're using apple cider vinegar and you're getting results, keep using it. I'm not suggesting that if it makes you happy, you stop using it. If it helps you remain consistent, great. I just wanted to put out information, my thoughts on it, you guys are welcome to do whatever it is you want to do, but have a great weekend. Enjoy your Saturdays, and I'll talk to you on Monday. This is Paul from Pro Physique. Have a great day, guys.